Hey, welcome back. This week we're supposed to be working on the old Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, I have been working on it all week, but guess what? That's not this week's video. This week's video is me going to go get my Cadillac back. It needs to be my daily again. Um, if you've watched the Will It Run on the Cadillac, it ran. Um, of course it ran. I never expected it wouldn't. But it has been sitting for about two years, over two years now. And we're going to go and pick it back up. I'm going to throw a battery in it. I drove it to where it's at. I kind of buried it in the tree row by the barn. Well, I'll see if I can get it out of there uh, without a ton of issues. But anyways, we're going to go get the Cadillac, um, bring it home. The reason why I parked it was the transmission sometimes just would shift to second gear. And that was it. It wouldn't shift anymore. Um, originally, I was going to pull the trans and build it. I talked to a local uh, transmission guy that's been doing this for, I think he said, 35 years. And he said, uh, and he does a lot of these. He said, it sounded to him, from what I described, that it actually wasn't the transmission and I'd be wasting my money to just change it. And he says, check your electrical stuff. He's like, check the battery and check the alternator. Well, before I parked it, I was definitely having battery issues. Sometimes it just kind of drag just a little bit before it start. Not always, but if it's set more than a day. So it kind of needed a battery. I knew that um, when I did the walk around from the uh, on the Will It Run video, I noted that the front of the alternator was black. So there's a real good chance it needs an alternator. Um, it's been sitting for two years. I'm not even going to try to charge that battery today. I'm, I've got another one. We're just going to stick in it. Uh, it's a bigger battery, I think, than what came in it. We'll see if it'll even fit. Don't know. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So, nonetheless, my buddy Lee's going to pick me up. We're going to go over there and see if we can get it going and back to the house. Lee, come pick me up. I, uh, I've already loaded the tools. He's going to let me drive. I'm going to run over. We'll see what we get into. Well, we got up here. I can definitely get this thing out. There's plenty of room. So, we're going to do a few things, and uh, I'll get this battery in so we can get fired up. All right, so I think my battery's gonna fit. I'm gonna pull this out and then we'll get the battery out and see if this other battery will fit or not, hopefully. There's the battery that was in it, the old interstate. And I've got the Champion in there. So uh, let's see if this thing will start or not. Yeah, it's got gas, got almost half a tank, so. I'm gonna let the fuel pump prime a couple of times. All right, see if so girl start. I knew it would. This is a great truck, so I'm gonna let it run just a minute. Uh, shut the hood, clean up. I gotta get some stuff out of the back. And uh, we'll all try to take a journey across town. I think it'll be fun. All right, Lee's gonna move his truck out of the way. See if I can snake this guy out of here. Ease onto the house and just see how she does. I did put new tags on it, so that's done. Um, yeah, hopefully it does okay. We'll see. scratch her up too bad. This thing's been through the woods many times. No big deal. Jaw just a little better. There we go.
half a tank of gas still on this thing from two years ago. We're gonna run it. Um, what's new is the airbag lights on. I'll figure that out later on. I ain't worried about it, but it drove great. Well, I went and had lunch and got an alternator and I also got some windshield wipers because this thing's been sitting for two years and they were bad, I think, when I parked it. So we're gonna change those. Um, I'll probably end up changing the oil, but not at this minute. There's plenty in it and it looked good. So I just wanna run it a little bit and then dump it. So I, I'm not worried about that right now. But um, I'm gonna pop this hood and we're gonna look at this alternator and hopefully I got the right one. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do and then I'm just gonna do it because um, I can't figure out how to get a camera mount set up to where y'all can see this because the height of this truck. It's not terribly high, it's just too high for what I've got. So right here is the tensioner. I'll pull that back. I'll go ahead and pull this belt off and then a bolt there, a bolt there, the uh, power cable that goes to the batteries right here. I'm pretty sure it's got a 10 millimeter nut on it. There's a plug under there and then it's out. It's really, really simple. I do have the power cable already off, so make sure you do that if you're gonna do this. And we'll give it a shot. We'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, hopefully this is easy breezy and we can move on. I got y'all kind of on a janky stand, but I believe you'll be able to see. We had something to cry on that with. Oh yeah, baby's in there.
I'm gonna pull this close to see if y'all can hear it. Yeah, it's making a noise. I'm sure that was the bearings going out in it. So I'm gonna grab another that other one and see if we can't get it put in. Off. I've actually got this back almost in. I got one more bolt and then we'll tighten those up and then put the belt back on. Well, that sounds not so healthy. We'll roll with it for a while. Let me see if I, this other idler. Oh, it's pushing up. Eh. They both make a little racket. Nothing terrible, though. So, anyways, let's see if I can get this knocked down into place now. Probably shouldn't do that with your uh, impact. Hang on. Little more. There we go. Got that in. Everything looks like it's riding good on the belt. All right, I guess I can put the battery cable back on and we'll button this up and we can go on something else. I know some of y'all that watch make videos. This is uh, this is my janky little setup I had, so you could see in there. I'm really not sure how well it did, but it did stick on there, so I'm not terribly worried about this old paint. She's seen some things. All right, let's make sure she'll still start. And there you have it. She's running again. Well, the old girl's cleaned out. I got all the stuff out of her. I'm gonna wipe her down with some cleaners and see if we can't get her just to smell better. Just from, like I said, from where it was sitting. So, I'm no mechanic. I'll tell you that all day, I'm kind of a hack. But uh, ain't nothing humbles you more than wiper blades sometimes, good grief. So when I went and uh, picked up that alternator, I said, hey, I need some wiper blades. He's like. He looks them up, 22 inches. Great. I went and grabbed some, whatever. 
then I brought them back uh, out here to the truck and I was just gonna pop them on right quick. They didn't work. I mean, as soon as I looked at them, I was like, those are different. It's been a long time since I put blades on this thing. So uh, I had to take the alternator back. And uh, so I told the guy then, I was like, hey, these didn't work out. Different dude. He was like, has to be the OE. I know that's backwards to y'all. 22 OE. So if you've got a Cadillac and you need to put wiper blades on it, it's a 22 OE not a 22a <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna try to get these on here right quick i'm trying to wrap this up today it's six it was 65 or 66 for a high today uh tomorrow's a different story so uh yeah i'm gonna wrap this up right quick and call it a day as you can see the sun's going down so all right i got those bad boys on there um still wasn't easy but if you're curious i do use bosch icons um you use whatever flavor you like but these have treated me well over the years. They are not cheap, but they seem to work really well. So yeah, that's wrapped up. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna call it a night, and uh, we'll check in tomorrow. What a difference uh, about 12 hours will make. The roads are clear. I thought I'd go out and fire up the truck. Me and Madison are gonna go ride around and see if we can find any place to play. So I uh, thought I'd take y'all with us. Maddie and I are in the truck. We're letting it warm up just a little bit before we head out. Um, the blower motor in this truck does not work. So fortunately I was able to use the brand new windshield wipers that work amazingly to wipe the snow off that was, it's like, I don't know, four and a half, five inches thick out there. So um, it starts to snow a little harder. I thought I'd get a set up and we go ride. Have try to have a little fun. Perfect time to fix this truck. I'm sure this will be the last snowfall for, uh, for us for the year. Just remember, all you northern guys, it doesn't snow around here a lot, so we're going to make the best of it. place to go play the streets are pretty well clear so i'm headed to our property we're gonna go over here and do some donuts <laughs> ready? of course i'm ready of course you're ready oh uh, i'm not be ready oh well what would you be <laughs> We're turned all the way, but the truck had turned it off.
can turn the traction control off on this thing, Madison. What? Traction control. What's some traction control? Traction. So the so it'll just keep spinning. Whoa. This is fun. Heck yeah. Still can't get traction control off. I think I have traction control off now. So we'll see if we can do one or two more and we'll head out. I love an all wheel drive vehicle. All this down the side is ice where I slung it up on here when I spin it around. It's kind of cool. <laughs> what a good time. What a good time. Yeah, look at this side. <laughs> this side doesn't have those fender flares, so you get a lot more thrown up on it. Um, that's one of the reasons I like the fender flares, but I actually don't enjoy how they look. I think it looks better without them, but uh, yeah, compared to this side. <laughs> With this side. Anyways. What a good time. It's a great way to go test your transmission, isn't it? So we had a great time slinging this thing around, you know, all wheel drive, 400 horse. It just what a good time this thing is. But anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. There's still stuff to fix. Uh, the heater blower motor doesn't work. Both door handles on the passenger side on the outside are broken. Just some, you know, things like that. Also, I have upgrades planned for this thing. So it's not going to get a video, hopefully, for a little while. But it's going to come back. I mean, this is my daily. Y'all are going to see it all the time now. 
it's you know it's the thing i do stuff in so thanks for watching hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate that um you know i'm getting getting up there in subs uh, i need about 380 more or so before i'm hit that thousand mark so if you would share it with a friend i'd appreciate that um anyways thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week I know y'all saw me blowing the salt and stuff off this thing at the car wash. It needs a real bath. It's still, you know, actually grungy, but it'd been sitting for two years, like I said, and this is pretty nasty. So uh, this will do for now, but man, I love this color. I drove to Kentucky from Tennessee to buy this thing because of this color. It's unusual. I've only actually seen two others this color ever, and they were both online. I've never seen another one in an EXT that was this color. So, yeah, I I do love this old truck. I'm really glad I got it back out. But I know some of y'all would have been like, oh, my gosh, last, last week you took this thing out and got it all covered in salt. Uh, well, this week we uh, I showed you we, we got her cleaned up.